CCA. We started as a very small little group and we've evolved to become an essential component of the entire cotton and crop consulting agricultural industries. Most of the early consultants were all still working for chemical companies. Chris Lehman worked out that there was a niche for people to sell their expertise on a fee-for-service basis. He obviously had some reservations. There were a lot of growers that were getting that information free from chemical companies. So it was a pretty, it was a big step. What really happened was it identified that you could communicate with the researchers at one level, all the different chemical companies, and you could go to a grower and you could say, well, here it is, I'm, I'm independent. I'm willing to use all the information I can get from all these different areas. It was probably completely unique in agricultural industries at that point. Some industry people could see that we needed to be Australia-wide and we met uh, with the Queensland group. The CCA group from which was the Cotton Consultants Association in those days approached us to see if we wanted to join them. Initially we probably said no. <laughs> And then uh, Steve Warden explained, you know, uh, the benefits of joining you know, an association of that size. And we could see the benefits of having a, a united voice in an approach to government and in the industry from the consultants' perspectives. Jeff Brown, Steve Warden, Chris Lehman, um, they were really, I guess, the foundation members and um, they were also on the board. Um, but as we merged with uh, Queensland, Amanda Noon, Dwayne Evans, uh, a lot of those Queensland consultants really became part of the, the board and very influential on the CCA as it began. I came into the position at a time when the organisation was changing. It had come from a really tough time and it had been a really dry period, a lot of drought and consultants couldn't just rely working in cotton anymore. So it had been all Cotton Consultants Australia, changed to Crop Consultants Australia. So there was a few challenges there. Today it's much, much broader and it provides a really holistic um, opportunity for anyone who's involved in agronomy um, to be able to continue as a profession in the career and be able to upskill and, and further themselves as uh, individuals but also as a business owner. It's a much bigger association, it's much more, covers a much more diversified group than what it used to um, and it's significantly more professional than what it used to be. For me personally I think that CCA has, has given me far more than I've given to it I guess. it's. It's, to me, it's been a, um, probably one of the most rewarding things I've done and, you know, it's been really satisfying to see CCA go from strength to strength in recent times. I think the CCA is important because it's an independent group that allows an independent voice and allows the networking of independent minds. So, as a group of individuals, it's always been quite an altruistic group as far as people quite willing to help each other sifting through the information and giving each other ideas to help each other out when we need to get an answer that we may not have. A lot of people were welcoming, even though I was from a long way away and knew no one, people would always talk to you and, and give you a hand. I just have a lot of time for the CCA because the CCA actually gave me a lot, especially when I was younger. Quality of information that comes through things like the CCA uh, seminar are fantastic. So I think the, the um, CCA has continued to improve and I think it's a great service to our, our group. Information sharing, the problem solving, the problem sharing, uh, the networking, sharing experiences, uh, when everyone comes together for meetings or just the general buzz uh, on, from, a, from a communication stream, uh, you really can't do about it. Information transfer, keeping up with everything, listening, mixing with like-minded people with agriculture and it's a professional organisation that was the place to be. I think it's really good to join a group like this where you can have that peer support. Uh, you can gain great knowledge, you can accelerate that learning fairly quickly uh, with the information that's available. You can also have a great time getting together socially with people that are doing something similar to yourself. Um, yeah, it's, it's a, a great spot to be, I reckon. Being a member of the CCA, one of the biggest things which isn't this professional side so much as some wonderful friendships that I've with 
people older than me, younger than me, from different backgrounds and got to know them really well over the last 20 years. A lot of them have a lot of experience and you can talk to them firsthand and get it straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak. If I was to give some advice to my younger self 20 years ago, it would be just to be continually hungry for knowledge, um, to search for understanding in, in older consultants, gaining wisdom in the, in the industry and, and regularly invoice your wisdom three things which I still have to remind myself of. The first one would be is you have to have good knowledge. And this is where the CCA really comes in. To be a good consultant, you really need to know your stuff. Like our tools, our hammer and our saw is our knowledge. Number two, it doesn't matter how good that knowledge is, if you never ring a grower back, the knowledge is wasted. The number three, no matter how bad your weekend was, come to work on a Monday with a smile on your face. Farmers like people around them who they feel confident in, who are uplifting, because they place a lot of trust in you. You know, the farmers who are really going to succeed in the, in the future are going to be doing something different. So they're going to be the innovative growers, you know, the ones who are, who are taking on new technology, possibly developing their own branding. So they're trying to get out of that, that pure commodity market. I really just see um, CCA getting better and better at what it does. And you know, what it really does well is keep its members connected. Um, both with each other and with the broader industry. It's really nurturing its younger members, which, which I think is really important for the future of, of uh, both the association and, and the industry in general. I've never seen so many young people at a CCA meeting, so it's really good to see that because we're all getting older and getting slower, so we need some younger ones with more ideas. The great thing about Crop Consultants Australia is that um, they'll continue to um, look for those opportunities and challenges as a way to you know, achieve better outcomes for their clients and I think that's really what the CCA has always done. I think CCA will just evolve with the newer developments. It always has. Mm -hmm.